how to install Brave Browser 1.57 on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I'm Paul and I am the lead research technician here at the How to Linux Research Labs. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install the Brave Browser 1.57 on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Okay, here's my OpenSUSE Tumbleweed desktop here. Big lizard, very nice. Okay, and here's my NeoFetch screenshot, or my screenshot of NeoFetch. You can see that we are indeed in an OpenSUSE environment, Tumbleweed. Don't think anything else. Uh, KDE Plasma Desktop. And that's about all we really need from there. Okay, so you can clear on that and let's get started. So, first I want to show you that I don't have Bra uh, Brave actually installed, okay? So let's just, let's, let me, let me uh, prove and verify that I don't have Brave already installed. Otherwise, when you start keying in Brave Browser and whatnot, it should match up here, but it's not. So it's not installed. And of course, when we're done, I can also launch it by the command line this way with that command. And it's not there. So once it's installed, it'll be able to be launched from the command line this way here. Okay. So, you know, Brave is another good browser. It's um, open source. And if you want something alternative to uh, Google Chrome, Edge, Firefox, this is a good one. This is a good one to look into. Uh, recently, I've been curious about Bra Brave Browser since they uh, added some AI capabilities to their their standard search engine, and they also have a new AI chatbot called Leo. Now, I installed Brave before on a different distro, and I also have it on my Windows, and it said to look for the chatbot window uh, or button on one of the side panels but I couldn't find it so maybe somebody could help me out here if you know how to access the Leo chat bot that'd be great so we're gonna install it and see if it's uh, gonna be showing up on this installation or not so yeah so since all the AI stuff that Brave has been into I think it's worth a shot it's um they're trying to get into the you know compete in the AI landscape whether it's a uh, AI powered you know standard search or um, or AI chat, uh, conversational chatbots and whatnot. So like I said before, their uh, chatbot is called Leo, which makes sense since their logo, their icon, I mean, their logo is the lion, Leo the lion. So it makes sense that they would name their uh, AI chatbot Leo, okay? So there's a few different ways of installing Brave on, on OpenSUSE. We're going to use the terminal, and we're going to use their uh, their repo, their official repo. You can also do it through snaps or flat packs. And you can also compile from source as well. So we're going to do it the terminal. We're going to do it the terminal way. Okay, so it's going to be uh, four... Four simple separate commands, and uh, back with the first one in a minute. Okay, first you're going to have to make sure that you uh, have this uh, command line utility called curl installed in your system, and this is the um, syntax to install curl on OpenSUSE in an OpenSUSE environment they use the zipper package manager looks like it's 
I didn't even click, I didn't even key in enter and it just automatically uh, started trying to install it. Okay, I never had that before. Thought you had to hit the key, the enter key to get it going. Okay, so anyway, I already have it installed, obviously. So you're going to have to have this curl command installed. If you don't, then you can't, you can't do what we have to do to install Brave Browser. So let's this quick little verification that we actually do have curl. Okay, we've got some usage there. And good old standard version. Okay, good. So curl is installed and ready to go. Okay. So we'll clear on that and back with the second step. Okay, so second step is going to be this right here. I'm going to paste it in. I don't know if it's going to start automatically uh, downloading and importing whatever is on the uh, clipboard. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it, it. I haven't really worked much with OpenSUSE before. With the uh, like when I work with uh, the Ubuntu and Debian based distros, when I key something in, I have it waits for me to actually you know hit the enter key. Here it just uh, once you paste it in, it, it just um, it gets activated and starts. It just runs it. So anyway, um, so I had no error, so that means everything was good here. So yeah, uh, OpenSUSE is a uh, RPM based, so it's going to use the RPM package manager. And it's going to import, essentially it's going to import the, uh, the Brave Browser repo URL into our local system, like into our clipboard, into some temporary storage area. And the next command is actually going to add the, brow uh, the, the Brave Browser repo URL to our sources list. So then we can use the package manager to install it. So back with that. First of all, I'm going to clear on this and back with step number three. Okay, here's the command for step number three. Again, I'm going to paste it in and it just does it. I don't even have to key nothing. And I'll try to give a little quick explanation here. So we use the zipper package manager to essentially take that, that repo URL that was imported into our internal internal clipboard or storage, storage uh, you know, staging area and it actually then you know this command here is uh, going into a pseudo session using the zipper package manager with an add repo switch to it and we're just taking that same URL and it's being added to the zipper to the sources list so zipper can have access to it so it added to the repo brave browser repo brave browser was successfully added to my to your repo list everything else here looks good okay so we're clear on that and um, just a little little tip you can go in, into um, your EAST your uh, EAST software um, applications here and check your um, sources list here I believe this one here and or try them both and there's a place where you could actually see your sources list. I guess we can go ahead and take a quick look. Let's open up one. I forgot which one it was in. So I must always authenticate with um, OpenSUSE. Uh, I do believe it uses that um, SEL uh, security program. Security enhanced Linux. Always gets in the way. Okay, let me, uh, let me minimize that and take a look at the YAS software. I don't want to spend too much time poking around here. But I do want to show where you can find that, that repo URL in the sources list. Okay, it's been like I said, it's been a while since I've actually looked at this. I think it's actually this one here. And uh, where was it? Yeah, software repositories right up here. This is the, the the GUI repo manager essentially. Oh, 
Okay, so let me show you how to see the um, the Brave Browser repo URL that we just added. We did complete the third the third step there, so it was added, and we'll get on to the last step. I just want to show you where you could actually see it. You go into this one here. They both get you there. But click on this one here and up to software repositories. Click on that. And then right here is where you see it here. This is this is the GUI repo manager for uh, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. You can see it's the Brave browser URL has been added. It's enabled and it will refresh itself. Okay, so that that's fine. Um, Yast is a good software, you know, it's good software to use to manage your OpenSUSE system. Okay, so back with step four. Okay, so ready for the last step. Um, something you should also know, like in the Ubuntu Debian, uh, like when I'm using APT, um, a, a distro that uses the APT package manager. Once I add the U, um, the repo URL, I always have to you always have to use APT update so APT becomes aware of it. That that isn't the case in um, OpenSUSE and Zipper. Once you add the URL, like we did in step three, once it was added, in that one step it was added to the sources list, and Zipper becomes aware of it right off the bat. You don't have to update Zipper so it's aware that you've added a new repo for it to pull from. It's like a two for one. You add it and Zipper becomes aware of it right off the bat. So you don't have to do, have an extra step like you would uh, in an APT based system where you have to run pseudo APT updates for, the, for APT to be aware of that new uh, URL for it to pull from. So here we've done a two for one. We added to the sources list. We saw it. We verified that. And at the same time, Zipper is made aware of it. So it's two for one. Okay, so then we can go on to the, to the fourth step here, and I need to go ahead and and um, and uh, fix this real quick here. Okay, I think what was holding me up was having those uh, Yast programs running down here, and it locked everything. So I closed those. And you can see they have, on my desktop shortcut these guys right here. So these one of the both these were open. So I, I I closed I ended these programs here, and I got this ready to go again. Let's see this time it should work. Okay, yeah, that was the problem. So yeah, they were open. They were locking the 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 the, the process here. Okay, so sudo zipper install Brave browser. So it's going to use that repo URL that we added to pull in the Brave Browser here. Pretty self-explanatory. Zudo zipper, install Brave Browser, loading repo data, reading install packages, resolving the dependencies, and the following two packages will be installed. Brave Browser, Brave Keyring, okay. Two new packages to install, yes, yes, yes. Do I want to continue? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and key in the Y and enter on that. You can see here it's um, you know it's RBM based. No arch. That means no architecture in particular. So this this would work on probably x eighty four x eighty six sixty four and an ARM as well. It's not just uh, bound to one architectural CPU architecture platform. Like this one would only be this package right here would only be uh, compatible with x eighty six sixty four. This would be uh, for multiple ones, nothing in particular. So that's how to read that. No arch means no architecture in particular. There's architecture involved, but no architecture specifically. Not one in particular is what it means. And then x86-64. So like I said before, uh, another one that you could that would be in play would be uh, an ARM, a ARM, a ARM architecture. Okay, so that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty quick. Okay, two files, everything installed. Brave Browser 1.57. Okay, that's what I said we were gonna do. Okay, so we're clear on that. And that's our fourth step. So it's been installed. 
just have to go to the uh, application launcher and before when I keyed this in it didn't work and okay now we got brave I would go into the application and, and I always make a, a desktop shortcut I like to have desktop shortcuts okay here it comes and it lands on this page here then you can go into the settings like I said uh, if you can tell me if you could tell me where you'd find the uh, the Leo chat bot button on either side panel I couldn't find I'll look for it later I couldn't find it before I'll, I'll take a look at it later maybe I'll find it eventually but as you can see Bra Brave has been installed here you can go ahead and and hide these these widgets or whatever they're called here okay so Brave's been installed then you can go into the settings and set your home page and everything and 1.57 okay so Brave has been installed verified everything's fine there okay good and I just want to show you one last thing before we before we end the video you can also hopefully install it yeah okay see I I, I only key in a couple of uh, characters and I tab and it auto completes that lets me know pretty much that that's on the path and I could launch the program Brave Browser in this case from the terminal so we'll enter on that and and there you go okay so I would always just do it from the GUI that's just the way I like to work you can also come to the terminal if you ever have a problem with the GUI and come over here and see if it will launch this way and if not it's a good it's still a good troubleshooting uh, method because you can get some output here that might help you debug why it's not you know why it's not uh, you know launching from the GUI from the application uh, from the application menu but keep in mind that you have to always keep this open if you kill this process here it'll kill this will still stay up but you won't it won't be active you won't be able to like do any more browsing it'll just stay on the page it's on but you won't be able to do any more browsing with it it'll kill it and uh, vice versa if you kill the front end here this goes away so the, the, the problem you know one of the downsides of doing it this way is that you have to dedicate at least one window and one tab to the process you can open other windows or other tabs in this one you know terminal window but this has to always be running so it it kinda adds a little bit of a you know clutter complexity uh, whatever you want to call it inefficiency to your, to your workflow but I would only come here as like plan B my plan a would be just to launch it from from uh, from the um, application launcher here brave web browser okay good okay so I'll clear on that minimize that and um, quick little recap yeah so that was uh, installing uh, brave browser 1.57 on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Now there's no uh, number, there's no version for Tumbleweed. It's rolling release. So there's no real number. You know. I mean there's like a, when I do the uh, zipper update or zipper DUP uh, upgrade, which I'll show you here. When I do this right here, actually I can show you it doesn't really say that there's an, an actual you know version because there's no version up here over here it kinda says it's gonna upgrade it, it kinda you know puts a kind of a, a date format on the actual version like uh... you know today's version would be august twenty third twenty twenty three's version that would be the name of the, the version that we would actually be on since there's no actual number it's a rolling release distro okay so I can just say that that was how to install the, the Brave Browser 1.57 on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. And um, so, yeah, uh, we uh, installed the, uh, the repo URLs into, um, into our system with RPM. And then we used the Zipper Package Manager to pull from that repo and to install Brave Browser. And I showed you, I showed you how to 
launch it from the GUI and from the terminal as well and explain some of the ins and outs of why you should do one or the other. Okay, so um, thank you for watching and subscribing and for your comments and your feedback. I am Paul. Once again, I am Paul and um, I am the lead research technician here at the uh, How to Linux Research Labs. And until my next video, take care. Bye-bye.